So if you kindly sh uh, shed some light on the first Bangladesh SARM workshop, mm -hmm. what your experience and how it was to you and for the students of the Dhaka University? Yeah, I think it's um, a very positive experience. I think I, I learned a lot about uh, also what is happening here in the university and how the students are being prepared. And I'm happy to say that I found that the caliber uh, of the students to be very high. And that was a, a very positive outcome uh, for me to, to see that. And so I think that's the, a very good um, first foundation um, to building up an effort in high physics here because the students are very well trained. Um, so this is a wonderful experience. We will continue it again um, in the future, possibly next year, um, so that we keep the uh, momentum going. Uh, so what do you, uh, how do you see the students of Dhaka University, if you can uh, particularly share some light on the uh, performance of the students, their participation in the workshop and their uh, interest in enthusiasm? Yeah, yeah. Well, they're, they're certainly very enthusiastic. I see all of them taking notes and paying attention and they're, they're constantly there. Um, they're participating, they're asking questions um, and that's part of the learning process um, to interact with the fellow students but also with the lecturers and they're doing that. They're not. Uh, that shows they have confidence, and that means they have confidence because they have some basis to be confident about. So, uh, last year, sir, uh, one of our students from Dhaka University has got a chance to start a summer research camp. Uh, so, uh, what are the possibilities of the Dhaka University students to uh, get this ch uh, chance further uh, in the near future? Right, so this particular program, which we call the Summer Student Program of CERN, um, is open to all the non member state nationals, um, and we will um, take um, most likely two students from Bangladesh um, in 2015. So in July, August 2015, uh, we hope, and that is our aim, I'm discussing with the Vice Chancellor, uh, to make that happen uh, on a continuous basis. So we'd we'll like to have our students from here um, coming every year to CERN during the summer and then progressing in their studies and in their uh, academic careers after that. So what is your experience after visiting this university? Oh, it's positive. Um, it was a great uh, uh, hospitality, first of all. I must thank everyone here. Um, that, that much warmth and uh, been terrific hosts um, on one side. And secondly, we've been very constructive in developing a roadmap for how Bangladesh, in particular the University of Dhaka, can engage with CERN um, but also in high physics in general. And I think that the basis is there to build on. Sir, you know, Dhaka University has lots of research activities and we have a uh, world class uh, faculty member as well as we have 70,000 students right. uh, as well as we have state of the art building here. But in world ranking we are uh, very poor. Uh, do you, uh, we have a less confident about the ranking system. Do you believe so? Are regarding this issue, to please have a message. I, I think uh, ranking these university rankings there is just a, it's just a number to, to me. I think uh, we find brain power anywhere we go, or everywhere we go, I should say. So that's what we want to tap into. Um, uh, of course, there's a financial aspect, but uh, initially we would like to have the brain power, which I think this workshop, uh, the school we have uh, proved that there is uh, not only interest, but also the brain power is this year. So what is the future plan about the uh, workshop, the uh, Bangladesh Sun workshop? Uh, uh, will you continue uh, continue this workshop every year or there are some other plans? Yeah, the, the plan is uh, with Professor Arshad, we were discussing this, that uh, we would like to hold the next one in, in about a year from now. And that I think uh, makes the students here aware of what is going on in Hanji physics in general, but also in what happens at CERN and in other collaborating countries like India, for example, which has played a very central role in organizing this workshop in school with their lecturers. Um, it also brings countries together um, and gets students interested in particle physics. So we will definitely continue with this. So would you please give a message for the students of Dhaka University as well as Bangladesh? For the betterment of their student life and their, for, for the betterment of their career too. Yeah, sorry, what was your question? So please give a message for the students of Dhaka University. Yeah, we, um, we uh, to, to give a performance, um, they, they have performed very well, like I said earlier. So I, I, think, um, I think they've got good teachers, what I've, the ones I've met here. Um, they were probably not exposed to particle physics 
as much as perhaps we would like to have, exper particularly experimental particle physics. And I think it's the school that can introduce to what it means to do experimental work. And uh, so the next step, of course, is to build uh, a program here for experimental particle physics and perhaps a laboratory um, where students can get their hands dirty and start constructing things, measuring things, um, and that is part of the uh, process of uh, experimental physics. And that was all from our part of the interview. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It was my pleasure. Nice talking to you. Thank you.